What the hell was that? Wait, what? Did that seriously just take four shots? No. No. Wait a second. No way. I what? There is no way. Roll the video, I guess, and whatever footage you see, just be warned. It's it's not gonna be pretty, man. It's not gonna be pretty. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back, and welcome back to Caldera. In today's video, we're gonna be going over slugs on the Einhorn revolving shotgun, and if you saw that intro clip, you'll know where this is going. This is gonna be a little bit of a different video for me because I'm not gonna go super in-depth with stats because there really is no need because this thing is not very good and I don't really want to waste the brain power or effort to test all these little things that I know aren't helping and get the ranges and stuff like that because the class isn't really going to matter but I do want to talk about these slugs and I want to talk about why I think they're pretty bad and one of the worst things in Caldera currently at the moment but it also does have some upsides I'll get into that in a second but basically if you saw the intro clip you'll know that up close and personal this thing takes four shots to kill if you're hitting the body. If you're not hitting the head or the neck, this Einhorn with slugs will take four shots to kill. If you remember when Warzone was first introduced, slugs were in a state where basically it would take four headshots to kill. It was busted, they weren't working properly, and it took 16 limb shots or something ridiculous. It was insane, it was asinine, it was broken in a weird way. nobody really caught on because people like me the very small minority of people who uses niche setups on niche guns well we use it and we find out and we're just disappointed and this is one of those situations where this i think was more than anything kind of overlooked because this is really weak if a gun takes four shots like this with a five round cylinder magazine then it's not worth using. Now you do have a seven round mag, which is the best way to go in my opinion. And that is the one I'm gonna say to run if you do wanna try this out for yourself. Now, right off the bat, one of the good things about this though, I will say is that the headshot damage is pretty extraordinarily high. In fact, if you hit a headshot up close, it's basically doing the equivalent damage of like a pump shock into the face. So that's really cool. And the range that you can get a two shot headshot is pretty far. It's about at least 30 to 40 meters. I didn't get an accurate, super accurate reading. Eventually it does cut off and you won't get two shot headshots, but because of the damage you do, all it takes really is one headshot and then a body shot generally to get the kill. But having to rely on getting a headshot with a shotgun like this to get a two shot kill is insanely annoying and really frustrating. And you better bring your A game. I mean, I hopped into plunder first thing got a couple of gameplays with this and it was a really rough start because you kind of have to warm up i mean i didn't warm up i just went in and started using it it was rough it was about as rough as you can imagine but then i started to find my stride and i was getting some two shots there and because people were weak i was getting one shots and in plunder it's kind of hard to determine really if a gun is super super good but you get a general idea and this one it's just really difficult to use now we do have 12 gauge ammo and it does increase our damage a slight bit but i'm talking super slight like five to ten points Basically, you're still going to take four shots point blank to get a kill with it and two headshots. So there is no real reason to use this ammo type over the other seven round magazine or the tube, I should say. And unfortunately, this gun doesn't have any damage barrels or anything else to help modify. So really, that's basically what you're getting is four body shots, two headshots or a headshot with a chest shot or stomach shot or anything like that. It seems like if you're hitting the limbs, it's not really going to give you that one headshot and then one body shot. So basically, chest or stomach, headshot, and you get your two shot kill. I will say the potential for the two shot kills is there. I can't really deny that, unfortunately, as much as I want to and shit all over the gun. It does have some pretty awesome two shot kill headshot ranges. I just don't think it's practical and I don't think it's good enough to use. With some of the other slug shotguns, they usually have a two shot headshot, but then they also have a two shot body shot or, you know, they have a one shot headshot range or something like that, something to redeem it. But this is just, you know, really great headshot damage and then absolutely piss poor body damage. There's no in between. So it's really challenging to make it work. And then this gun in itself is already kind of a quirky gun that it just feels kind of weird to use. So really there's no real reason to use it. But I guess if you're a really good player, 
you might be able to manage some headshots. If, if you're like bear pig on rebirths or something, you might be able to make this thing work if you're hitting headshots. I'm just saying, I consider myself decently good with these guns, like the shotguns with slugs, where you have to kind of aim for upper chest and head. And it's a real struggle bus for me. It's really difficult to use. I'm not saying I'm an amazing player with them, but I'd say I'm a little bit above average, and it's just, it's just really difficult to use. Like I said, this video format, way different than probably what you're used to, and I'm not going to go into any stats. You know, what you can expect from the big barrel is your range is a little bit better. 12 gauge, a little bit better damage. The range is a little bit better, but it's still two headshots, four body shots. I've said that so many times, it feels like now, but... I'm just kind of getting th through your head that this thing is just not very good and I was really having a hard time using it. Didn't really enjoy it that much. It was occasionally kind of funny to be like, haha, I one shot downed him with a headshot and they were pushing me or something like that. It's kind of funny, but in a practical sense or even in a niche sense, I really don't recommend using this. The only time I recommend it is to just see how bad it is, to be honest. Maybe I'm underselling it. Like I said, the two shot headshot damage, the headshot damage in general is just really good but it's so impractical to have to rely on that. So that's why I'm like really throwing this thing under the bus. And that's not even talking about the Gracie Auto. I think the Gracie Auto is in a similar boat. That's a that's another video. And then of course that has a bunch of recoil. So aiming down sights is gonna be such a struggle with that. Really not looking forward to that one. But this one, just avoid. Don't really even bother touching it. It's not worth it, guys. I'm sorry to say. And I'm sorry I'm not really going over super in-depth stats for this. I think many some people probably expect that but I'm just not gonna put in the effort to do until they fix these. Like I said, I do believe this is probably an oversight just like slugs were in the beginning. And just a heads up, even the combat shotgun now, because of the most recent adjustments to barrels and damage and stuff, slugs don't two shot kill to the chest anymore. Even with the damage barrel and 12 gauge, you have to hit head to get a one shot kill or it's a three shot body shot. So slugs are in a weird place overall, and I have a feeling the Gracie Auto and the Double Barrel are also in these really strange places, so don't expect anything crazy from these videos. There's probably no real secret meta, right? With the other slug shotguns like the 725, it's like a one-shot headshot pretty much as far as the eye can see, and that's really cool, but this thing and the other slug shotguns from Vanguard are probably not going to be anywhere close to being viable in the slightest, so I'm sorry to say that, but that's gonna do it for this video i know it's a weird format it's weird to hear me just kind of blab on about how bad this thing is but i gotta keep it real with you i don't want to waste my energy and time on this thing and get a bunch of really detailed stats for how bad it is when i can just tell you it's bad and so hope you guys understand that but also i hope you enjoyed the video i hope it was at least kind of funny and let me know what you think give it a try if you want i don't recommend it but let me know if you do and let me know how it goes and with all that being said, guys, I will see you in the next video.